for me, it's uh, not something that just... I don't think radiator and instantly think, oh, that's cool. Hatterene is like a princess stuck in a tower or something. It's interesting, but I prefer the regular one with the claw hand and all. I'm just a big fan of the Gigantamax forms, which just change a whole lot, I think. Just like Grimmsnarl, who looks like he's busted right out of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Love it. Love everything about it. Our creamy turns into a cake. Somewhere out there, Vanillux is weeping. Holy crap, ice cream sundae Vanillux in a bowl. So Come on, somebody out there's got to do it. I've already talked about Kaparaja. Funny design hidden by the big fucking trunk. And Duraladon, whatever the hell it's called, turns into London's tallest tower, the Shard. It's probably why Duraladon looks that way to begin with. Still don't like him. And that is all the new Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Holy shit, small message for future me. Don't do this ever again. Stick to a maximum 20 minute videos. Message taken. Previous rob. I fucking hate myself. And now on to the stuff that maybe, maybe only I had a problem with. Probably not that I want this to be very clear that this one maybe specifically only applies to me. All the, all the other stuff, it's pure fact, but by the way, this is all my opinion, uh, other than the facts, of course. I felt one feeling throughout this game, a feeling that didn't actually go away since, I'd say, about halfway through, maybe a little bit before halfway through. I felt guilty. I was smashing down upon a kid who just wanted to battle and do his best. I had no option to cheer him up, no option to help him out, no option to just help him train or... I just had nothing. I just slogged on ahead and fought leader after leader, earning badge after badge, and not feeling good about it at all. Why? At first I thought it was just a hop thing. Despite him being as shallow as a puddle, he's still pretty likeable, so I got a little bit attached to it. But no, it wasn't just that. I was being handed the wins on a silver platter. I wasn't trying, and so the victories weren't really victories, were they? The obstacles weren't obstacles. I was getting XP candy after XP candy. Pokemon who didn't even participate were evolving. If I hadn't turned it off, I'd have the option to switch into different Pokemon every time I knocked out one of my opponents. And at no point did I feel like I deserved to be called champion. I blasted through the linear routes, destroyed everyone in my way with no problems, massacred anyone who dared call themselves my rival, and defeated the champion without any issues whatsoever. And then in my second playthrough, I spent like, I don't know, maybe an hour doing raids, and I didn't even need to fight trainers for XP. Look, I, I get that people need an easy way to get competitive ready Pokemon fast, but why not lock off the XP candies and whatnot until you beat the champion? I mean, that way you can create a balanced game with difficulty that you can actually control a lot easier. And don't tell me I should just not use the candies. I was already doing a Nuzlocke. I was already doing one of the hardest runs in a Pokemon game. If something is presented to you in a video game, you're gonna use it, generally speaking. That's why I hate pre-order bonuses and shit that give you overpowered weapons. It completely takes away from the intended experience. I defeated the entire league, saved the world, became the champion, and then was appointed to royalty to top it all off. I didn't earn that. Apparently, Leon spent his whole life training until finally becoming the champion, and I whipped that away from him in a couple hours. That just feels like bullshit. Even when I lose, I don't lose. Not only does Hop say you can do better and that it doesn't really count, but Leon too. Is that the best you can do? What if it is? Suddenly when I'm dropped down to an equal playing field, I can't cope. That means you're stronger. I tried to see what would happen if I entered the league tournament as the champion with just a grub. I lost instantly I mean, it's something and this still champion. Would work I didn't the think metaverse. that Game Freak would let anyone else become the champion, but heck, it's certainly something that should be a thing. If I won the title of champion in the same tournament, why can't someone else? Why can't I ask for the largest media franchise in the world to make their game something worth being proud of? Why are we giving this schlock as their first Switch entry? It's a 3DS game. Everything in this game could be made on 3DS. wrong though I wonder that's pretty amazing huh I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it and yet look at us now Let's me oh and it's Huh? Oh, I get it. It's you should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys. Ah. 
A restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Oh, I could go for some Wagyu beef. It better be grade A. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it.
Mmm. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Han chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Huh? Oh crap, you're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! Hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! And where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. B beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Ooh, I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. 
Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic... Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Shoot, they noticed you. Just on the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on. Sorry. So, the ratings for the... It was because of... It's all about ratings. How can he... By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. When you really look, he should have just accepted his lot. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. We should probably look in. <gasps> News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know. It doesn't sound like a serious. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you brought a ton back! Ha <laughs> ha! 
It's cute here. That. You're the last person I want giving advice about that, Ryuji. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... knowing what... Sure, but why don't you help? Oh, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm with. Hey. Whatever. Let's deal with this. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory. For all of us. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both... Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. <laughs> My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? <laughs> we don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally... You were talking... Hey... What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the... There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. 
I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. Hey, you're cutting in line. What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. What's wrong? That's just gonna make me worry more, you know. I bet it's because he rarely eats Sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. <clears throat> what is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble... Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But... but... Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh... I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings? Fledglings? Alright, it's settled! We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world! Are you okay being our leader? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, shoot, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it. Let me... Uh, how about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, how about Tilefish Poilet? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Oh no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us.
We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? More people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. Sure. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making... Now then. This is... Time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate! You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I shall explain it to you now. 
You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Have you heard? Like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like... Well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. The teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. It ain't much. I want to make my... You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's... It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? But look what happened to Kamoshida. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Yeah, you might be right. 
I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamoshida-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamoshida to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamoshida, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Th thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. started it um you guys are the phantom thieves aren't you sorry although if things really are as I think I should keep it a secret Kamoshida used me and I did some horrible things to you guys this isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it but if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. 
I'm glad to hear that. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? I'll live up to your expectations. I promise. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Moon Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. See you. We heard all that. Jeez. It was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that four... Has he figured out our identities? I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though... And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better! All you're good at is English! Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists! Bring it! Will you two stop it? Okay. Yep. 
Wanna head back? That's the key to this place. You get to lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? That's what you're choosing? Don't break it, okay? Sounds good. All right, which one? Hmm, that one? You better not use it to pull a prank. Sounds good. That's what you're choosing? You like it? Okay. Alright, which one? Sounds good. Hmm, that one? that? All right, which one? Huh? You gonna buy it? Don't break it, okay? Sounds good. That's what you're choosing? You like it? Uh, come again.
Thank you very much. <clears throat> For real? Now then. Now then. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> Wanna head back? Open your textbooks. Do you... This is it. Exactly! are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Uh, there ain't any... We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just... Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We can wait and... Oh. This place is off limits, you know. We'll get out of here once we're done chatting. The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. <sighs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Yeah, you know, he's only been here a month or so. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Yeah, talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. 
Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said, there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's badmouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right, now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? What I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is. Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The keyword is mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh. Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Everyone disappeared. It, it kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. Is this place? Wait, are clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us! We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor, but it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is, using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana, transform! Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turning into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. 
For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! No, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! All aboard! Let's go! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? Um, safety first, okay? You'd better not smash up my beautiful face. You hear me? All right then, we'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. And that tickles. Lower, lower. Oh, there. That feels so good. Uh, is that Perrin I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full through.
Again. It's impervious 
to gunfire!
it. Man, that was easy.
Persona! Hold on. Persona! You're mine. Keep up the pace! There's two enemies down for Joker. Go ahead. All right. That's the baton and follow up! Zoro! We're done here. Let's go. Mm. Nice work, team. Okay. They were nothing. Are you? Are you that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property. I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me! What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame? Get ready. Here he comes! Please forgive me. I couldn't... Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? Ah, 
I was afraid of being thrown away again. So some selfish bastard still. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Matarami's heart? Before more people fall victim to him? Change... Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shine? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker. So, Nakanohara had a change of heart. Most like... But... Well... It... It's all... On top... All right! Hold... What? Don't... Well then! Yes, we gotta do it! For real? We're not on the same ones. You gotta be. Anyway, let's head to the lower. This way. What is this place? Open. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Up. See? What is That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're... Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone, and I knew something had to have... How deep is it? Let's not. That's not why we're here to... We've already... Hey, look! A person? Hmm... Maybe it's this one. Ooh, tasty! Hey, what's he drinking? Oh... Hmm... I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you. Good point. It's cus. Thanks for. What took so. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. Who you. When you said you were looking for flowers. That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying human? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? Hey, could you... How? By collecting... I wouldn't ask you to... I find all kinds of stuff you... I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. Well, what do you think? Seems like it could do some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> no. What do you Well Thanks. Wait. Don't go thinking us just 
Yay! Aw, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. I am not a cat! And I'm not grumpy! Uh, oh, I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Thanks, but I'll pass. Well, yeah, you're making... I'll be looking for flowers or oh, since... Oh, good job. Oh, in the hell? If he's studying humans, <laughs> I mean, he just... Well, he didn't feel like a sh... I wouldn't say he's dangerous. Anyways. Mentos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and... Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a If memento... Why do you know so much about it, Morgan? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However... No matter what... Mementos is not used to so... You... I'll... By the way, Morgana... Yeah, I agree. He could turn out to be pretty ancient. <gasps> Stop! Let's do it. 